Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to share with you the topic on compressor. It is part of the course of EAS 3513 propulsion that is offered in the Bachelor of Engineering Aerospace with Honors Program. And my name is Dr. Abdul Rahim Abu Talib. The learning outcomes for this particular topic, compressor, at the end of this particular session, you should be able to identify the main components and functions of a typical compressor. At the same time, you will be also be able to explain the design and criteria of performance of compressor. You will then able to compare the characteristics of axial and centrifugal compressors and finally discuss the airflow materials as well as balancing in a compressor. In this particular topic, there are seven subtopics and we will cover the first part of the subtopic which is the introduction. In the gas turbine engine, compression of the air before expansion through the turbine is affected by one of two basic types of compressor. The first one is centrifugal flow and the other one is axial flow. So both types are driven by the engine turbine and are usually coupled direct to the turbine shaft. This figure show a typical centrifugal flow compressor. Okay, let me just uh, highlight some of the components. Uh, the centrifugal flow compressor is a single or sometimes two-stage unit employing an impeller. We have the impeller here. Okay to accelerate the air and diffuser to produce the required pressure. So we have the, these two main components of a compressor in this particular centrifugal flow compressor. If we look into this particular picture, it shows the second type of compressor, which is the axial flow compressor. And in this particular case, it is a multi-stage compressor which consists of rotating rotors, blades as well as stationary vanes to accelerate and diffuse the air until the required pressure rise is obtained. To end this particular session of introduction to compressor, we now look at the comparison between the two types of compressor, which is the centrifugal type as well as the compressor type. If we look here, right, I've list down the comparison. It can be seen here a centrifugal compressor is normally more robust. It is also easier to develop due to the uh, small number of components it is also easier to manufacture it is simple and rugged and normally being used in a small aircraft whereas for an actual type of compressor it will consume more air it can also attain much more higher pressure ratio for more application it definitely will produce more thrust it is more efficient and can improve the specific fuel consumption. With that, I'll stop for the time being to continue with the second part of the topic of compressor, which is the centrifugal flow compressor. Thank you very much.